The humorous, semi-autobiographical book Slaughterhouse Five, also known as The Children's Crusade, A Duty Dance with Death, was written by Kurt Vonnegut. Set during World War II, the book is about an American soldier named Billy Pilgrim who gets unstuck in time after he lives through the firebombing of Dresden, Germany. The book looks at war, time, and the human state through Billy's experiences. The book isn't told in a straight line, but instead jumps around in Billy's life. In the beginning of the story, the Germans take Billy prisoner during the Battle of the Bulge. Then he is sent to a prisoner of war camp, and then to Dresden, where he is locked up in Slaughterhouse 5, a former slaughterhouse that has been turned into a jail. Billy and the other prisoners are made to clean up the streets of the city for the Germans. When Billy is in Dresden, he sees the firebombing of the city, which kills tens of thousands of people. This shows him how terrible war is. Billy and a few other prisoners are able to escape the attack because they hide in an underground meat locker. The Allies later come and free them. In the book, Billy's wartime memories are interspersed with scenes from his everyday life as an optometrist, husband, and father in upstate New York after the war. These texts show how the war has changed Billy so much that he is haunted by his memories and can't fully live his life. Billy's story is made even more confusing by the fact that he seems to have been taken by aliens called Tralfamadorians, who teach him how they think about time. The Tralfamadorians say that all moments of time happen at the same time, but humans can only experience time in a straight way due to their limited senses. This belief lets Billy relive different parts of his life, even the moment he died. It gives him some peace of mind to know that his presence is not limited by time. Slaughterhouse Five is a strong anti-war book that uses comedy and dark humor to show how stupid and destructive war is. The novel's vivid and scary accounts of the bombing of Dresden are based on Vonnegut's time as a prisoner of war during the war. By using his own experiences, Vonnegut creates a real and moving picture of the traumas that soldiers and citizens both go through. The broken up way the story is told in the book is a reflection of how unstable war is and how it affects people's minds. By weaving together parts of Billy's past, present, and future, Vonnegut shows how pain is always there and how it can change a person's view of time and reality. The Tralfamadorian idea of time, which says that all moments happen at the same time, is a strong metaphor for how war's effects last for a long time. Billy's ability to remember both good and bad parts of his past shows that the past is never really gone and continues to affect our present and future. This idea also gives Billy some comfort because he knows he will still exist after he dies. The figure of Billy Pilgrim stands for innocence and weakness. His unwillingness to fight in the war, along with his general incompetence and naivete, show how random violence is and how pointless war is. Also, his problems with PTSD after the war and his growing distance from the people around him show how war can hurt people's minds for a long time. Vonnegut shows how both troops and civilians lose their humanity and have their lives destroyed by war through Billy's experiences. Slaughterhouse Five also looks at the idea of free will and how much power each person has over his or her own life. The Tralfamadorians have a fixed view of time, which means that all events are set in stone and can't be changed. This is very different from how humans want to be free and in charge. This tension is shown through Billy's passivity and fatalism, which are often seen as ways for him to deal with a lot of trauma. By putting the fatalistic worldview of the Tralfamadorians next to the human fight for freedom, Vonnegut makes us think about the nature of existence and the role of free will in shaping our lives. The mocking tone and dark humor of the book show how silly war is and how easy it is for people to hurt themselves. Vonnegut uses irony and hyperbole, among other literary devices, to show how silly many things about war are, such as the way it glorifies violence and how blind pride often leads to conflict. Through this satirical view, the book makes a strong point about how pointless and useless war is. In the end, Slaughterhouse Five is a sad and thought-provoking book that uses the experiences of its main character, Billy Pilgrim, to show how terrible war is for the human mind. Vonnegut's unique way of telling stories, which includes satire, black humor, and a non-linear structure, 
shows how ridiculous war is and how it leaves people with lasting pain. By talking about time, free will, and the human condition, the book gives readers a broad look at the complexity of human life and the ways we try to make sense of a world that is often hard to understand.